This video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. You must be a white supremacist, otherwise, why would you be white? You white supremacist? Ugh. What a way to start 2022. <laughs> Hey noble ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and first of all Happy New Year, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas time with your family and with your friends. As you probably know, three weeks ago I published a video where I was responding to this TikToker who was claiming that the ancient Roman Empire didn't exist, together with all sorts of outlandish claims. Now she made a public response to me, so I thought hey let's just watch it together with the noble ones, it's going to be entertaining to say the least. But apart from the entertainment factor, there's actually another reason why I'm making this response video and it's not for her, because I know she's not going to watch this as per her words. I'm not gonna watch it. But because over the years with the sort of content I've been producing, I've had to deal with quite a lot of these people belonging to this sort of cancel culture that goes against reason, logic, science and history. And therefore, because I was expecting her to do this, in fact, I was expecting her to say exactly what she said. I want to show you how to be prepared because people with this sort of agenda will strike low. They will strike below the belt as she tried to do, but failed. Just let me make sure that the Roman helmet is in the shot. Well, first of all, the video is called Your Boy Metatron is a YouTube Supremacist. Because, of course, people pointing out historical truths and scientific truths that are inconvenient to people with a specific agenda are all white supremacists. So I get variations of this comment a lot, actually, on my main account, and it makes me laugh every time because y'all assume I'm on YouTube? I am almost... 40. I use YouTube to watch movie trailers and put on lo-fi so that my dogs don't have anxiety when I leave the house. Okay, let me get this straight. Already we are starting with a complete absolute lack of logic. What she's saying is that because she's almost a 40 year old woman, why would we assume that she uses YouTube? Meaning that YouTube is not for adults. And then she posts on TikTok. If you make a reaction video to something that I talk about and you are being a obnoxious shit, I'm not gonna watch it. She already shows you the pattern of her research. She knows that you are being an obnoxious SHIT without watching your response. So she's assuming without checking it out, which is exactly what she does with Roman history, Greek history. She talks about it as if she knew, clear as day. But when your little fans mention your name and bring you to my attention, I do look you up. And this Metatron character, huh, as always, everything I'm about to show you is publicly available information. I love the grin on her face of someone who thinks that she has now found something dirt on me that she can use to attack me, because of course she doesn't attack the argument, she attacks the person. That's what people with a weak argument or people who don't have the ability to defend their theories and point of view with reason and logic will do. She thinks, ah, you didn't think I was gonna do this, I got you, you got me. I'm gonna try and say this in the most non-condescending and non-obnoxious way. Still, sorry if I sound uh, arrogant or anything, I don't mean to be, but I'm a person who, for both his personal interest and now his content creator job, and before that as a school teacher, I research ancient military strategy on a daily basis. Do you really think that when I made the first video, I did not first investigate how you usually deal with these things? I had anticipated your every move. Well, except from when you tried and used my crowdfunding campaigns against me, which I didn't think it were gonna do because, I mean, they are absolutely unattackable since I was always very clear with what I was gonna do with them, but then you literally self-debunked yourself in that part of this video, which was hilarious, so yes, I'll... you'll see. This is Metatron and his official Facebook page already. A lot of red flags. I think I made it quite clear how I stand. So yes, I'm proud of that video. I stand for the truth. Just... So many red flags. Metatron is very upset that Europe was not Pillsbury Doughboy colored at all times. I also have an entire video dedicated to that. In fact, a whole series. I stand by it. This is one of those people that need to call you a racist the moment you say something on the lines of Vikings weren't black Africans, ancient Romans weren't black Africans. Because the only possible reason why you would say that is not because that's what historical documents, archaeology, iconography, steles, representations, records, the written documents, the material evidence is telling us no. It's just because you're a white supremacist and you're a 
racist. Let's go forward and let me put on Vega's mask. This person who believes that LGBT people were invented in, I guess, the 20th century, his name is Raffaello Urbani. First of all, it's Raffaello Urbani. I'm counting on the world R. She has admitted on this video that she doesn't watch my videos. So how do you know what I say on my LGBTQ plus video? She claims that on this video I say that LGBTQ people were invented in the 20th century. Clearly she hasn't watched the video. Also because I can prove that a lot of LGBTQ plus people have commented under that video and said that they agree with me. So if that's really what I said, I doubt that so many people who belong to the LGBTQ plus community would agree with me, just as a matter of deductive logic. Y'all's hypocrisy is kind of hilarious since Mr. Urbani doesn't have any listed qualifications anywhere, not even on his LinkedIn account. Obviously, I'm not saying you need a degree to be knowledgeable about a subject, but considering y'all asked to see my degree the way that frat boys asked to see women's tits at Mardi Gras is interesting. Do y'all ask him for that? I don't show my credentials on every video. I still, however, have a university degree, cum laude, 110 out of 110, from the University of Naples in Compared Cultures and Languages, which gives me the title of Dottore, but I'm also a language expert and I have worked through the European funds of university and research. So the fact that you say that I have zero qualifications, again, shows your method of gaining knowledge, doing research clicked for three seconds, didn't find anything on LinkedIn and said, this man doesn't have a degree. You were incorrect. Although I do agree that you don't necessarily need a degree to be able to speak well about a topic that you're well versed in, but that's probably the only thing we agree on. Now, what really puzzles me is that when you look at the comments on this video from her followers, there are people that literally believe her and they go, oh, this Metatron character. How can you trust someone who says something like this? And if you're British, oh, you're gonna love this one. Okay, seriously, are you trolling me or do British people not realize how large the United States of America is? And this is the entirety of England as it would fit into the United States. That's not a map of England. Like, literally, you're talking down to British people saying that they don't know anything and you don't even know what you're talking about. I mean, last time I checked, Glasgow is not in England, Cardiff is not in England. That's a map of the UK. The United Kingdom that comprises England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Oh, but Metatron, that's just a small detail. Maybe she just didn't see Northern Ireland. It wouldn't matter. There would still not be a map of England. You remove Northern Ireland, it becomes a map of Great Britain. I mean, I'm not British, but I have lived in the UK. I know this one. Y'all are just a widow of baby country. Now, the part where he talks about my crowdfunding campaigns and tries to use them against me, you don't want to miss it. It's gold. I'll show you and react to it after a word from our sponsor. Now, our lovely sponsor for today is Atlas VPN, but what is a VPN, you say? A VPN is a virtual private network that makes all of your internet traffic travel through an encrypted tunnel. And this way, it protects you from spying, public Wi-Fi dangers, and hides your IP address and your online activities. Atlas VPN is a great choice because it was developed by cybersecurity specialists. And among other things, it also gives you access to the Data Breach Monitor, which is a security feature designed to track any data breaches related to your online account, automatically scanning any leaked information. But another fun add-on through Atlas VPN is the fact that you can use Netflix or from any country regardless of where you're based. Does it say you wanted to watch a show that you, they only broadcast in the USA but you were in Britain? No problem. Just change your country through the VPN and boom, access granted. I personally always have Atlas VPN active on all of my machines because one account lets you use unlimited devices. And the great thing that you can do it too since it's very affordable. Right now Atlas VPN is running a huge discount with only $1.39 a month. You can get a three year subscription, 30 days money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and enjoy your safety. Anyway, back to Mr. Urbani. Please. The man is running a grift. Check what I can do. He has left behind a trail oh, of fundraisers where he asks for money for something such as to go to Japan and then later says that he didn't raise enough money to do the project, just enough money to go on vacation, basically. So this is the part where she completely debunked herself and really again shows you how these kind of people lack 
honor. The trail of crowdfunding campaigns are two crowdfunding campaigns that I made, uh, where she said that I didn't raise enough money to go to Japan. Well, she just showed you, first, that the campaign was to buy armor in order for me to make content, and that I actually did manage to get to the amount that I had asked. So how that's a failed campaign is beyond me. I was very transparent on the crowdfunding campaign, I have used that money to buy samurai armor, to buy roman armor and to buy medieval armor that I have used to make hundreds and hundreds of videos, as she says publicly available for confirmation. And I've also did a little trip in Japan of two weeks where I produced some, again, videos. Another thing you would know if you had really done a little research about me since that's what you've decided to talk about, I have lived in Japan already. I lived in Japan for four years when I was a university student, I received three scholarships because I had very high marks and then I moved to Japan, spent four years there working as an interpreter, a translator, an Italian teacher, a waiter in order to have enough money to be able to live there and I did that all on my own. In fact I also speak Japanese and learned the language. So with a crowdfunding campaign, nice try. He's also fairly invested in the concept of samurai and dreams of perpetuating authoritarian violence. None of which surprises me, because Mr. Bonnie is participating, whether he knows it or not, in white supremacy dog whistles. Fascists in Italy have been trying to merge with Japanese authoritarianism for years. Okay, this is really the part where she has reached her lowest, I believe, in this response. And this is the part that I'm telling you, whenever you make a post, whenever you make a video that deals with the matters that I usually talk about, always be ready and be prepared because people with this kind of agenda will use anything you have said, whether it be public or private, against you. And now, let me show you how wrong she is. First thing, very silly, an Italian who likes the samurai, he must be a fascist. Let me tell you something about fascism because my family knows a thing or two. My grandfather, so my father's father, was a northern Italian man who fought against the Germans in the 40s during World War II as a partisan. And because of his very strong and brave and courageous stance, he was arrested and sent to a concentration camp in Austria. The only reason why he survived that camp is because after a while, American soldiers liberated the camp and saved my grandfather's life. My family has fought oppression before it was cool and when it was dangerous. And just a man will defend truth no matter what. What about this statement then? Well, first of all, you can see there is no Metatron anywhere. That's because it's from my private, personal Facebook page where I share my thoughts and my posts with my friends and family. One person who had asked me his friendship screenshotted that, used it out of context and posted it on Google. I knew she was gonna use it. The person who did this and used that without context, without showing the rest of what I said, conveniently removing it, is a coward. Well, what you don't see there is that I was commenting a specific video where I watched this American man who was running this shop somewhere in America together with his wife and then these four or five guys took advantage of the riots that were recently happening in America to destroy the place and steal his stuff. Now, because these men started to beat up his wife, this man tried to defend his wife and he was beaten to a pulp by these five cowards. When I saw that, it rubbed me wrong and I said, if it were me, I would send the police and the army to stop people like this and defend this good American guy who was just trying to defend his wife. So let me put it this way. Let's say you're in your home and these five guys break in and they try to kidnap your kids and you try and defend your family, but unfortunately it's 5v1, they took you by surprise and you go down fighting. I watch a video of that and I say, gosh, I would send the police and the army to defend this man, to defend you and your loved ones. Would you call me a fascist? Would you point the finger like she did and call me someone who, oh, he wants to bring back authoritarian, whatever she called it? And here is a very important thing that I'd like people to understand. Fascism, or in general authoritarian regimes, are the ones that will take away your rightful freedom with violence. That does not include criminals and their endeavors. If you've got a pedophile who's trying to kidnap kids in front of a school, if you've got a mass murderer who's trying to kill people at random, and law enforcement or good citizen stopping by force, that's not an authoritarian regime. Some saying, well, that's the job of the police, but I wouldn't involve the army. And I can respect that. The only reason why I said police and army is because here in Italy, another thing she doesn't know, is that a few years ago, about 15 years ago or so, the government started a 
operation called Operazione Strade Sicure, which means Operation Safe Streets, whereby every police officer was backed up by two soldiers belonging to the army in order to increase their firepower and effectiveness. Personally, I lived through that, and as a citizen, I never felt oppressed by that deployment of troops. And I'd like to remind these people that I wasn't brought up in a flowery garden. I was brought up in Sicily. And you know what my region is famous for? Not really the safest of places, let's put it mildly. I understand if you feel it's against your constitution in your country, I'm not here to come and tell you how to, how to run your country. If someone tries to kidnap your kids and I say I would send the police and the army to stop them, well, yeah, let me add also Air Force and Navy. In fact, if we ally with an alien race with advanced technology, I would send them too. Not on the good citizen, on the criminal. But apparently that makes me a fascist. So if Mr. Urbani's fans don't like me, good. Love the condescending attitude at the end where she's like, I'm so superior, because that's what these people think. They think they are superior, they think they know better. But the thing is that unfortunately this person also showed that she does zero research because she got pretty much everything wrong about me. So you can imagine, since I'm not that interesting, there isn't so much to know about me, uh, but there is a lot to know about the Roman Empire and therefore she got that one completely wrong. Anyways, I'm not going to turn this into a very long drama, don't worry. I just felt it was right for me to reply to this because I think that something like this could happen to you and I want you to be prepared. I was 100% prepared. I knew she would have done this. Why? Because differently from her, before talking about her argument, I watched 35 plus of her videos and I noticed that that's what she does with every person who tries to have a debate and tries to address her points in a polite manner. She attacks them and she tries to dig up dirt. So of course, I was expecting her to do that with me. But here's the thing, I've got nothing to hide. I'm proud of what I stand for. You want to call me white supremacist and racist? I won't flinch. I am bulletproof to such accusations because I know they're not true. All right, number one, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below as I'd like to start this new year with a whole range of topics and content to talk about. So if there is anything you wanted me to talk about, feel free to let me know. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description and check out the amazing offer from the sponsor of this video, Atlas VPN. Only $1.39 a month for a three years subscription. Thank you very much, as always, for your support and continuous help and friendship. It means the world to me. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, the Metatron has spread its wings. Goodbye.